Hello guys and welcome to my channel Ace Freedom Ace Authentic. I'm going to show you how I made that animation using Krita. So this is Krita. I hope that you have Krita. Um, you can't uh, be watching a tutorial of Krita without having Krita. So this is Krita. It's where I did the animation. So just open up Krita and press Control N or press um, New File. So once you click New File, this will show up. You don't have to be concerned much about these things so just press create so um i'm also going to teach you how to steal in this animation honestly i'm going to teach you how to steal so this is actually our creator interface where you could actually draw stuff here you could see that i have a brush where if i would just um do this i could uh, draw something so um you know like an animation is a series of pictures right so let me just let me not draw stuff here i know that a lot of people may, may tell you to go to a, a animation window and stuff like that like here but this is not necessary honestly speaking this is not necessary as long as you're able to draw stuff and you're able to combine images you're able to create an animation so i will go to um the place where i have my images so these are my images guys these are my images so you can see here let me just click here these are the images that i was coloring i was coloring these images so i've just opened this up so that you could see so sorry i opened two this is like image number one image number two image number three image number four you can see that the um there is movement in these images because um they were made in a sense to move so i didn't finish this animation you could see that i'm still coloring this so i left i stopped coloring somewhere here but this is how it continues this is how it continues so i'm supposed to color everything here from start to finish so i will tell you where uh creator comes in creator you could draw all these things in creator and you could see that they they are not even animation yet but then i'm just moving the images i'm just pressing next 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 that you can see that this is actually a nice uh fluid animation but it's all because uh, of the way you are drawing your images so there's no need to actually go to to uh, the animation workspace because it's so horrible i mean let me just try going there um let's try see like how are you going to handle anything here how are you going to handle anything here so i'll, I'll teach you a very quick way on how i do my stuff let's let's go back to let's go back to uh, the normal window let's go back to the default which is default here so this is where i actually do my things so to show you how i go to color them and how i go to match my images i used this other video recording software creator i'm um, sorry i used Fimora. Fimora is where i just imported my image my my pictures so let me just uh, open let me go to the folder here um i open this uh, i open this picture which i was coloring in creator so it will show up here okay so this is like what i was coloring in creator so let's let's cause this um uh, the layer that i opened up first so this is the layer that i was coloring you could see that i could even turn off uh turn off these colors you could see that i was coloring this so let me just show you a very quick way on how i colored this image so here i'm done so i'm just gonna drop in this one see i numbered the images so that i shouldn't be confused i know that this is frame one and this is frame two so i'm just going to show you how i'll color this one so that it will actually move with um, and since it's um, this is this is frame 29 this is frame 30 so i'll just color this one i'll drop it in clear and i'll i'll say open as new document i don't need um with me there's no need to go to um there's no need to go to the uh, uh there's no need to go to the animation window that's that's just horrible for me i i work in this so i'm going to select this um similar color selection too and i'll select white because i've already drawn this then i'll select white so i've done this selection of white then what i'll do is i'll press light click on my uh, keyboard so that i could just have this uh selection options so what i'll do here is i will select cut new layer so if i do cut new layer what i've done is i've removed let me let me select deselect now so what i've done here is that i've removed the the white color so i've made this um i've made this transparent so 
I've removed the white color, then I can delete this because this is like the white color, and now the background is just um, the background is just the black uh, paint that I want the black card, um, the black ink on the character. So I'll delete the color that I've cut. So I'll be left with the um, I'll be left with this one. This will be transparent. So I've created another layer here. You could create another layer by pressing this plus two. And then I'll I'll go back. I'll drop it down. And I will switch off this background layer. This is the outline layer. I will switch it off. And what I'll do here is um, what I'll do here is I will select. I'll go to the layer that I had here. So I want to maintain this color. So I'll select this um, uh, color painting tool, which is color similar to. You could also get this by pressing P. So what I'll do here is I'll just select the color that I had here. So because I want to maintain this, this is an animation where you have to, supposed to maintain colors. I can't just put a yellow sky and then expect people to follow. Then I'll go back. I'll select here. This is um, the layer that I'm working with. This is the uh, yeah the frame that I'm working with. I'm working with which is frame 30. So I'll go to the um, paint tools here. Uh, there's this one which is the fill tool, and I can also get this by pressing F on my keyboard. Um, then. I'll make sure that I'm painting the layer that is below the outline, which I'm just going to drop here, blue. So I will highlight this and I will have this. I'll know that, okay, right now I have uh, something that I need to color. So I will go, I will go to uh, the, I will go to frame 29 again and I'll select the color picker tool and I'll select this color which is purple. I'll go back to frame. Uh, 30 and I'll know that I need to color this purple. So what I'll do here to not conflict with the background color I'll just add another layer which will be in between the outline and the background color which is in this case Blue sky blue. So I'll select again on the pen to I'll select blazer curve tool. This is actually my favorite color because I use a mouse for drawing Yeah, honestly, I use a mouse for drawing. So I will trace. I'll just use this to retrace um the outline i'll use this to trace the outline i'll just move where i know the lines are where i know the outline of the shade is so this will take me time this will take me time but in the end it will be worth it so i could i could um zoom in and zoom out by using my mouse wheel so i just have to be a little bit careful here a little bit careful the more precise i am the better so what I'm doing here is just we are coloring the. We want to color the character. We want to color the character to maintain the clothes that that he has, so that once we match these frames in uh, the tool that I like using, generally it's for videos. But as long as you can combine images, as long as you can combine images, you can create a motion picture. So basically, an animation is just a series of images creating an illusion of movement so um it can actually be literally anything as long as you're able to create the images in a way that they once being combined they could show um an illusion of motion so that's basically what animation is so you don't even have to to go and then use uh you don't have to go and um use that uh window for default window in creator not the four window on Twitter, but then the uh, animation windows for Twitter. That's very, very, very horrible. I don't even know how to use that because maybe I'm lazy or maybe I just know how to use the default window very, very well. Like in Demon Slayer's, um, the niece who just learned one skill. And once you master that one skill very, very well and become an expert in it, um, people cannot judge you because you're just perfect with what, you do, what you're doing. Okay, so I'm almost done with the shade alone with the shade alone um this is going to be easy you know the the uh, layer that i'm coloring is in between is in between the outline and um the background so it's not going to stress me much because the power of Krita and um is in layers the moment you are able to isolate these layers it's the moment you have total control over your drawing because uh, with layers, it's it's the difference. It's what makes the difference between Krita tools like this and and um, um, Windows Paint. It's what makes the difference. With Windows Paint, you can't actually have different layers, so that's the problem. With Windows Paint, you can't have different layers when drawing. You just have one 
one big uh, paint uh, paint space like in um, like on paper but this is the difference so I'll connect this once I connect this it will start uh, showing up like this that I've uh, managed to isolate it so I know that I've selected this paper color and what I'll do here is I'll select a brush on the left side of my um, on the left hand side of your screen there's this free brush tool so I'll select this I know that this is my coloring brush but it's too small then I'll go up here you could see that there's opacity and brush size let me just increase this so I can increase this to any height and length and because I've isolated this part I'll just move it anyhow I'll just color this part so I'll move it anyhow because I know it will color the isolated part so I'm done with the cloth and I can also color this side so the good thing about what we have done here is that we have cut this on this part and then this part will be easy because I'll show you why it will be easy. Let's go back to frame um, frame 29. I have this color picker tool here already selected. You can select this by pressing F if you have forgotten. Then you could just, I can just go back here and then select this color which is uh, dark brown, very really dark brown, like the favorite color of Batman. Okay, so I'll go to the frame to frame um, to frame 30, and again I'll select this Brazer Curve Selection Tool, and then what I'll do here is I'll make sure that I've, I'll create a new layer, and I'll just drop it down. Uh, I'll not drop it down to below the background, but I'll just drop it down below the color of the below the cloth that we have colored. The advantage of this is that since I'm coloring this layer right here, since I'm coloring this layer right here, um, I, it, it, won't, it, it won't depend on my accuracy already because I've already done the job uh, on the above layer. So I can just color this anyhow once I isolate the part that I want the color that I want the ink to be seen on. So I will show you the advantage of uh, using layers because this is actually the advantage of using layers. So you will see in the end uh, how this will benefit us. So I'm taking my time coloring this and I also take my time showing you how I merge the how I merge the um, how I merge the animation using Filmora. Or you could do that using any video too, as long as you're able to determine. Um, the duration of the frames. So since here I can just select anyhow. This is the advantage because I already cut that part and this would be invisible. So let let me just connect this, and um, I could select the brush too because it's already huge. We made it huge. See brush size, it's huge. So let me just move this. So we are coloring it bit by bit and it's looking nice. So I also select. I also create another layer here and I will drop it down. Uh, below the other layers that we have colored and uh, again I'm gonna don't don't forget to say to do don't forget to uh, sorry I made a mistake there don't forget to um, select this triangle tool here if you're failing to and deselect everything so it's the saying that deselect option is control shift a but you could just select uh, deselect by also going to the triangle tool selection tool and then uh, hitting right click and you can see the options here so we have done two colors guys and uh, it's it's high time we do the uh, skin of the guy now the muscular arm so i'm gonna go back to my frame 29 and i'm going to select this arm um because i've already selected the color picker tool which you could uh, select by pressing f on the keyboard so um let's go back to this frame uh this is frame so we're still on frame 30 guys be patient so um, I don't have to also focus much here because I've already uh, because I've created a new layer so uh, I know that here it won't be a problem so I'm just uh, gonna trace the parts where I haven't cut much so you can see that having a blue background isolating the white layer uh, uh, has been beneficial because let's say you're drawing on paper and uh, you just wanted this to get um, to be done with and then the the, the white color is very profound uh, this is actually gonna help you because you're gonna create a blue sky very easily and you're gonna have your outline um, stand out I also promised you guys that I'm going to show you how you could still 
because um, the trick about animation is just like the movement and how you're positioning your drawings because you can know how to draw but you cannot know how to animate because to animate you have to have the skill of knowing um, the illusion of motion so uh, if you don't know the illusion of motion again I told you that I'm not gonna stress much about the end part here because I know that uh, it's in your area so it will be hidden yeah, so it's about knowing the illusion of motion. If you don't know the illusion of motion, you can't animate. Okay, so here I could just do this because I've isolated the car. I've isolated the layer here. Okay, so I think we could also add something here. We could also follow this up. I'll, I'll give it the same color because um, I'm not gonna bother myself uh, with adding adding a lot of colors different colors i'm just gonna add it here okay we're done so you can see you see me that i got with the leg rectangular selection tool which you could get by pressing ctrl r and uh this helps me when i press like uh when i press the click button i get this selection tool so i can just deselect okay so um let let me select again this uh brazer curve selection tool which we have been using for our tutorial um i'm going to uh i'll try first to color the, the eyes uh color the eyes i've added a new layer here because i don't want to be confused much so i'll color the eyes let's remember which color the eyes were so they are white i'll go back by pressing the uh fade uh, frame so they were the eyes of the uh the guy were white so let me just uh trace the outline and once i'm done here i will select this and we could go oh uh, we, we should just move this on the triangle and then choose white then we could color this as white so we have done here we have cut this as white let's color also this as white uh try as much as possible to follow where the eyes are so this might be easy might be easier so you're done following where the eyes are and you could color this as white as well so yeah we have white um let's look at the eyebrows the color of the eyebrows so they were grayish they're grayish so that's that's not gonna be a much of a bigger deal okay since we've cut this on the new layer let's also add a new layer for the hair and uh, try to drop it down below here but not not far below the um not far below the um the background because if you if you drop it down below the background you're not gonna your colors are not going to be visible because the background is going to be ahead of your layer so let i'm retracing the eyebrows here i'm retracing the eyebrows so the eyebrows are going to be in a similar color with um with the hair so yes i've painted that and uh i'm going on to the other um to the other um, eyebrow so uh it's gonna take me time here a bit but we are going to get this done. So we're creating an animation, guys. Not using the boring created default window. So um, let's trace the outline of the head because it's, it also it is also going to have the same um, the same color. The benefit about having multiple layers is um, is actually uh, very very great because uh, it's what makes digital drawing possible the control you have over your drawing it's uh it's in the layers honestly the control you have over your drawing is in the layers because with your layers you're able to do anything like literally anything that you want to do so um the hair is a little bit edgy because you know he's an animation so yeah thanks to japan thanks to japanese people these hairs are edgy okay um I'm zooming in and zooming out using my mouse wheel because I draw using my mouse and uh, I don't have a drawing tablet yet uh, but maybe I will have it one day I hope so again I'm taking my time here I'm taking my time making sure that things are slightly perfect of course we can't be perfect as humans but things are things here will be slightly perfect so this is just one layer out of this is just one frame frame 30 out of 142 for you to have that kind of movement that you saw there it's actually frame um the the i have over 142 frames i've also told you how you can steal animations because 
um to be honest animators are kind of lazy they don't actually um you know uh create new movement and stuff like that they just uh, take movement uh which others have already made so um i'm just going to show you also how you could do that and then take that uh take those movements in in your creator so it's a skill it's a skill because if you don't know how things move you cannot animate because you can't create the illusion of movement though you know how to draw but if you're failing to create the illusion of movement you can't you can't animate so okay we have linked that up and uh, i'll select this brush again and i'll make it move here so we're only left with painting his head we're only left with painting his face i've created i've created i've selected the um rectangle selection tool and i'll i'll i've placed control I've pressed the light click here. I've cl I clicked on my mouse and I'll select deselect. Um, I also create I also create a new layer here, which is paint layer seven. I'll drop it down, uh, below the hair thing, below the hair layer. So, um, this will make the painting of the face, uh, com uh very very uh easy because I just move this. I know that once I color this, um. It won't overpower the color that I have, so I can just be messy here. You, you see me that I'm just being messy. I'm not even being precise at all. So what I know is I'll just focus on the uh, the outline of the the face. I can I'll just focus on the outline of the face. But um, yeah, I think I think we can we you can redo by pressing the right click. You can redo by pressing right like, click on your mouse. Uh, so how this tool works is that you just press a press here and then it, it kind of retraces. So yeah, you just point where you want it to go and it does the trick. It does the job for you. So I don't have to be precise here because I know once I'm coloring this, it's just gonna paint the face. So I'll select this because we already have this color. So let me just select the uh, color picker tool and select the skin and select the brush again and we're going to color the face so here i've colored the face so what i, I want to do right now it's um we are finished here we are finished here there's a sense of movement so i'm just gonna save this i'm just going to save this it's faded right it's faded and it's, it's um it's regarding this as a gif as a gif yeah sure so i'll just save it like that so i'll select fader here i know that it will replace this so that's what i want i'm replacing this i'm coloring them so yes repress um warning yeah whatever okay so um this is frame frame 29 this is frame fader they are very different they are very 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 different um let me just zoom out and zoom in you could see here you could uh, see here like look at the arm Look at the arm, they're different. There, there is motion here. There is motion. Look at the arm. It's like he's moving his arm. He's moving his arm. He's moving his arm. There's motion here. You could see here. There's motion. So um I'll go back to my folder here. I could delete this. I don't need this um frame. Uh I don't need this frame 29 anymore as reference as an secure document. I don't need it. I could also do this. I don't know what that is. But this is frame 39. We have money to color frame 39 where uh, we don't have, we have never, we haven't cut these frames yet, the last frames, but uh, we're getting there. Once we color them, it's gonna look, it's gonna look, um, it's gonna look different. Um, so here are the frames that are creating um, an illusion of motion, which is an animation. So let's just, uh, let's just press next and see what we, we have come up with. As far as we, um, so this was, these were the previous things that I was cutting. So this was like the frame that we managed to cut. You see, it's creating an illusion of motion because we colored, this is frame 29, this is frame 30. So as I was telling you that um, we coloring this frame is going to create an illusion of motion. So uh, there's still these other frames that we were supposed to color but we don't have um we don't have enough time to do so so i'm just going to show you again how you could merge these how you could merge this uh how you could merge this um i'm going to show you how you could merge these pictures to create this animation which you're seeing right here okay so um 
let's quickly close this for this you need to use a software called firmware so i have a very messy background i have a very messy uh, desktop background so i will just um yeah show you firmware user interface so what you need to do here is um there's this other part there's this other thing where you could just drag you could just drag um you could just drag the okay let me not click it okay you can just drag the pictures that you want because i've already numbered these so it's okay so you can just drag and drop them in the timeline of femora so i think they are um okay yeah so they are in so you could also um uh, so since they're in here uh, you could play them you need to auto play them so let's just um, change the duration now the duration is only three seconds uh i think if if it is six many seconds it's gonna be nice so it hasn't changed much so let me just select them all and then try to change the duration again uh six wake ah it's 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 failing to work but anyways let's just pray them and see so this is the preview let's just pray and click pray so this is what we have made so far so this is what we have made so far but it's gonna take a while because you could see they're over a hundred and um 149 so here you could also add some music by uh just dropping down some music so i'm gonna show you how you could add some music let's just uh, yeah i'm gonna show you how you could add some music so here you could add some music you could just uh, go here and uh, you know add some, any audios that you want um yeah you could add any audios that you want so here i've added some audio you could also take some audio in your in your um in your pc so let's i've clicked control b i've cut this you could just do maybe um you could just uh, select the audio and then select uh do like click and then you have these options where you could actually split the image split the audio so that you could match your timeline on your animation once you're done with uh, adding the audios and stuff you could just click export so once you click export you could choose uh, which format you want your animation to be in so the resolution is okay it's setting the resolution of the pictures so you can name this as anime creator yes it's anime creator and um, let's quickly go to settings um let's quickly go to settings and here don't don't forget the frame rate to be you can put the frame rate to be 30 uh, the bad light yeah you could, you could stay like this um even the resolution you could change it to um 1280 times 720 i think it's much fluid and you could go and badly change it to 1000 kbps so you can press ok and you can press export so it's saying it's only gonna be five seconds long yeah you could also yeah it's only gonna be five seconds long as of now so you could fi click find target and let's pray what we um what we have made uh where is it where are you where are you i can't even see you I can't even see you right now oh quite embarrassing and okay this one animation killer so it's gonna be quick it's gonna be instant it's gonna be yes this is what we have made actually this is what we have made so i've colored this frame last frame but uh, if I was creating a loop, you could have seen it um, more fluid, you could have seen it more powerful than this. But this is how you animate using Creator. So I told you earlier on that I'm going to show you how you're going to steal stuff from um, the internet already. Um, to create any animation, you need to know movements. So there's a lot way, um, there are a lot way quicker ways in which you could um, do this. So let's just go here because... Um, let's open. I've selected Google Chrome here, so I'll select uh, GIF, GIF fighting, fighting animation, GIF fighting animation. I hope I have. Um, I hope my internet is speedy. Okay, yeah. So here's what we have. It's GIF fighting animation. So we have this guy, and we have these people. They're fighting. So um, we need this. We honestly, honestly need this because maybe you don't know how to animate, but you need this. So, um, hopefully, this is gonna pray. Hopefully, this is gonna pray. So, 
Oh, we're waiting for the internet now, so it's just gonna make this video longer. So these these are like people who know how to animate, they have already animated these stuffs. So what you need to do is uh, you need to be able to copy them, right? You need to be able to copy them, cause if you don't, you can't copy them. Um, you're not gonna make something worthwhile watching, cause people already know the movements and stuff. So you need to be able to copy people, and once you're able to copy people, that's when you. So let's visit its pin interest. So I'm gonna show you how you could steal this animation and um, import it in Creator. It was uh, okay, yeah. So it, it it has worked. So I don't need this anymore. So it has worked. So this is actually the the animation. Some some guru guy who knew how who knows how movement uh, works made this. So what you need to do is uh, you need to save this. Save this as um, yeah. Just save this as and. Yeah, it's gonna save as a GIF. It's gonna save in your download in your download folder. So just save it. Okay. So you, since you, we are saving this and this, uh, yeah. So you could close this. Um, let's open. Let's uh, say. Uh, split GIF. The split GIF in two different tiles. I. Okay, yeah, so there's this other website which you just say split GIF into different tiles. Okay, yeah, I'll select this one. It's the same one. So what this website does is that you want to learn how to animate. You want to learn how to animate, but you don't know how frames work and stuff like that. You're not a guru in this. So you remember that we have made, um, you remember that we have made, we have taken an animation somewhere. We've stolen it. I'm teaching you how to steal. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's go to download folder. This is the this is the animation. So what this is saying is that we need to choose to choose the file that we want to split. So uh, we can't actually see clearly how the people are moving, but we can see once we we use this to we use this online tool to split the image for us. So we can select that it should split this image in different uh, in different um, in different uh, images. So. The, those are the different images that we we will be able to manipulate. We'll be able to use. We'll be able to study. So it's all about my internet speed. I don't know. It's feeling a bit about some KBs and stuff. But yeah, it's supposed to work. It's supposed to work. So let's just just play the the animation that we have. Let's the animation that we have downloaded. It's a GIF. So. Yes, so somebody drew this. We could uh, be able to like isolate stuff here. We could be able to color these these things. We could be able to do to do a lot of stuff. Cover these movements. Um, create our own characters over these characters. As long as we are able to um, study them. So that's uh, that's how this tool comes in handy. So you could see here. Um, they're telling us that. Okay, so. Output images in PG format. Output images in PG format. So we have selected output images in PG format and uh, split frames. So it's like yeah. So we know that here the, uh, everything here is just um everything here is just 28 frames. So what we're seeing here, people are fighting, people are doing whatever they're doing. This is just 28 frames. So this is a, this to do this you you just need 28 uh, 68 images. Wow, nice. So uh, you can download download as a zip. So yeah, these are the images. It's uh, it's gonna be about um, it's gonna be about what? Okay, one MB. So it's gonna be about one MB, one MB. So let's just uh, let's just name it something here. I'm gonna name it Creator because I don't wanna be confused. I don't wanna be confused, so I'm gonna name it Creator. Yeah, make sure that once you're doing this naming stuff. Make sure that you don't um, edit this like .zip. That's like the file format. So I'm pressing start. So, so these are the images. You can see the images of this guy, how he was drawing these stuff, and and it was like then here she was moving. These are like the 68 images of what we watched. Okay, so I think it's done. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think it's done. So you can just look at this in um. You can look at this in download folder. Uh, um, you can go to 
to complete uh complex uh you just look at your file or you could go to complex. so yeah it's clear that's this one right so what i'll do is i will select extract to clear up. um it will create a folder above uh, this one so these are the images that we were looking at these are the images we were looking at you can see here these are the images that we were looking at you can see that they are fighting they are fighting here so we we want to use this right we want to use this so we just want to try we, we don't know how to animate stuff but we want to maybe learn from what they do so because there are several images right now what we could do is um take one uh open a new file opening new document in drop it down in clear open a new document and here we have our animation so you could manipulate this image anyhow you can manipulate this image anyhow starting with this other guy you could even color him you could even do a lot with him because let's say if you are isolating cars oh sorry if you're isolating cars like right here selecting this color isolator tool and then you decide maybe to isolate this color to new layer and you decide to do this color the same way we were doing there and then you add this a new layer and you do this and you do that okay then you deselect this and you could color things anyhow you like so if you take this and you decide to color this something around here and you see that you could do a lot you could do a lot here you could do a lot so thank you guys for watching this uh how to animate in creator not using this boring um creator Oh, animation work, workspace, but you could animate using, uh, you could animate using, um, this default window. So I'm, I do hope that you're gonna for for more stuff. I'm sorry that I talked a lot about um about stuff uh, in this video, stuff that might at times confuse you. But uh, I hope that you're gonna hit the subscribe button because I have a lot more cool stuff that I wanna show you guys and even how to animate using Blender and stuff like that. So, bye, now.